What's up everybody, this is 8-Bit Eric and today's video is a how-to video. What I'm going to do is going to show you how to open up an NES, take it apart, and clean the pin connector, straighten it up, and disable the lockout chip to where it works out perfectly. So let's get this thing started. First of all, you need an NES, obviously. It's a toaster model. I don't know how to fix the top loader. And I'm not going to show you how to clean the top loader because I don't know how. But boom, classic toaster. Now people always complain that when they play theirs, the light blinks. And half the time it's because the pin connector is dirty or the connectors are not touching. They're bent too far apart so it can't read the game right. So today's problem is going to be tomorrow's answer or something like that. But let's get started. Screwdriver. Smaller one, I like to use it for the lockout chip. And a toothbrush. This one's brand new, fresh from the dentist. Ooh yeah. Also, I have a couple cleaning solutions that I have for my NES cartridge cleaning kit if I need to clean the connector. And good old glass cleaner. So let's get this thing started. Okay, so you're gonna wanna clear the area so you can have room to work with. So you can turn the NES upside down and there's these slots for the screws. And if you have to be told how to unscrew, if you have to be told how to screw, then I hope you don't screw the same way you unscrew. So you're going to do this for all six sides. Some of these screws don't freaking want to cooperate, but just keep doing it. Alright, so finally you have the screws off and you can take the lid to the NES off. And this that's what the inside of an NES looks like. It's the lid. Nothing special. So, what I do is I throw this off to the side somewhere. Alright, so the inside of the NES has several screws. Some up here, some on the sides, some down here. So what we're going to do first is we have to take off this bad boy right here. So, let's go ahead work on them. Now some of these screws that are inside of the actual thing are a little bit different in sizes. There's actually a couple that are longer than the others so I try to keep those together so I don't mix and match them in the wrong place. But I do keep them away from the shells screws. Alright, so you take the shell very carefully. Uh, oops, hold on, forgot one more. That one's a real little sucker right there. Okay, so you take the shell off, like so, and that's what you got. So now you see the next level of the NES, and this level consists of the loading tray and the motherboard. So now we're gonna let go, we're gonna need to take off this part. So there is a lot more screws. There's two here, two here, one down here, another one right there. So that's what we're gonna work on now. A lot of screwing going involved. Good thing this is a PG video. Boom. There you go, so this is the loading tray. So I now, this right here is the pin connector. And I believe I already did most of the work of getting it undone. Okay, so I finally got the motherboard loose. And you gotta kinda do like a weird twist with it in order to remove this thing off of it. Now, to get the pin connector off, just hold it firmly and kind of wiggle it gonna be hard. Boom. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray some. 
making it all over my freaking carpet. I'm just gonna kind of brush it. This probably hasn't been cleaned since 1988. Alright, now I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna go ahead and work on the rest of the nest. Alright, so now I'm gonna work on this. So, you generally need something to be able to reach in and bend them. So, I'm gonna go ahead and. First of all, I'm gonna clean it. So, I don't spare any expense on soaking it with anything. I don't give a fuck. I'm just brush it. See, look at all that soapy goodness. I just brush the whole freaking thing, man. Get up in that shit. Scrub it really nice. Get it really wet. That's what she said. Okay, here's where I use a safety pin. I forgot to tell you that you needed one of these. So you reach in. And you slowly but surely bend each one. Kinda like, just bend it to where it touches. See? It's kinda hard to show on camera, but you do each one of these. And it's very, very time consuming. All right, so I made them a little bit close. It's hard to kind of tell, but they're a lot closer than they used to be. You bend them, you make them touch. So it's going to be a snug fit for the game. Now the lockout chip is this right here, the one that says Nintendo. We're going to get to the fourth pin on the bottom left. It's a little type of squeeze because you have some of this stuff, but I use something small to reach it, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Okay, now this is where my small tool comes in handy. Now you got to be careful because the pin is right here, the fourth one. So I kind of gently move the stuff. Now you count one, two, three, four, right? You just gotta kind of reach in there and disable it. Kind of hard to see from there, but I just twisted it and got it loose. So, lockout chip has been disabled, and I just leave it there. It's not gonna do any harm being loose. I don't care what anybody says. All right, so now it's time to put this sucker back on. Finally, after fidgeting, I got it in right. You just gotta remember that this goes the other way. To, now, it's a trick getting this thing back on, but you just gotta kind of maneuver it to figure out a way for it to fit best. From here you screw it back together. Make sure everything fits right. Tight fit. Okay you gotta remember you slip it on every piece and before you start screwing, you gotta cover it up. Because that's what she said. So you gotta remember which holes match up with the shield. And then what I do next is I take this off, just use it as a quick reference, and I screw this on real quick. And you gotta remember, some of the bigger ones go in a certain place because they reach all the way through, especially these two suckers right, right here on the loading dock. Gotta remember the loader dock 
slides in and matches up with some of these holes, so you gotta put those in too. You just gotta screw it. One thing I did notice is if you tighten these too much, your spring will not work anymore. So you gotta kinda loosen it up and let it have some give. I don't know why it does that, but I noticed that several times with my NESs when I've been repairing different ones through the years. So you gotta make sure it's enough to give for it. Alright, so I got that loading dock set up and secure, so now it's time to screw the rest of these things in. Alright guys, so this is the completed screwed system. Alright guys, now it's time to put this back on. And screw cleaning his console, he can clean it himself. When you're done with that, voila. And he has back together. So let's go ahead and test and see if I fixed it. Hopefully I did. Plug it in. See if it works. Just to test it out, we're going to try out Castlevania. Pop it in. Ooh, you feel that? Nice and tight. And voila. It works. It really works. So now, time to chillax. Cause David Conover, your NES works, courtesy of 8-Bit Eric. You still gotta clean the fucking games though.